Welcome to my backstage journal where I take you on the road with me. Today, the band and I are headed to Southern Indiana to lead worship at a Disciple Now event at First Baptist Church of North Vernon. So just waiting for the guys to get here. We'll get loaded up and we'll hit the road. All right, the band is here. Andrew on the drums. Jameson, he loves being on the vlog. We're gonna hit the road. <laughs> I have all kinds of fantastic stuff. First of all, Theodore's coffee, some of the best coffee in the world. Fruit bars and peanut butter jellies. Dude, it's almost, it's almost like you're a dad or something. I'm, I'm just fat. <laughs> and a dad. <laughs> I'm a fat dad. Oh. Well, we made it all of 10 miles down the road and we are stopping for lunch. At that Jersey Giant. Michigan's finest. Halfway through Indiana, halfway to the gig, and we're passing Sweetwater Music, the largest music instrument retailer in the United States. So, we're gonna stop. Here we are. Anything catch your eye yet, Jameson? Just can't reach it. Just finished our first experience at Sweetwater. What's the general consensus? Awesome place. Sweetwater is pretty great. Yeah, it's probably one of the cooler shops I've been to. Jameson and I both decided we want a new amp. Yep. What is it? The Tone King Imperial. Boom, but we got Kempers, so we technically already have it. So. Right. <laughs> but Andrew got some real fancy looking drumsticks. Yeah. And I got a free t-shirt. So it was a good day. And now we're gonna hit the road, get to our destination. Mm -hmm. Just got to the hotel, gonna get checked in, get all of our stuff unloaded that needs to get unloaded at the hotel. I'm gonna head to the church where the conference is at this weekend. Unload some equipment and then have some fun. Time to load in. All right, what are we doing? We're gonna pull some equipment out. Cool. We're gonna unload. It is just after midnight. We unloaded our equipment at the church. We're playing at this weekend real fast. And then went and hung out with our friends, Brett and Nicole, who brought us down 
uh, to lead worship for this event. So we had a great time roasting some hot dogs and s'mores uh, around a campfire. We are now uh, just back at the hotel. Probably gonna work on dialing in some of my guitar stuff for tomorrow, catch some sleep, and then get ready for the first set. Poor Andrew's trying to sleep all the while. Jameson and I persist in our noise making. You know it's better than one Kemper? Two Kempers. Dos Kempers. It's gonna be many great tones to be had. Jameson's putting some BPMs in and I am, I loaded up that amp that I loved at Sweetwater today. So we'll see how it sounds tomorrow. Day two, here we go. Getting ready to roll out of the hotel and head to the church to get all set up. Fun soundtrack for the gig tonight. There's some dudes. Time to get set up. Yeah. 
Paul loves you so much that he is willing to take you, the person who disobeys him every day and sins against his word, to die and take you and hold you in his arms. Love on you. Care for you. Give you that peace when you are yearning for it, when you are crying out to God. First session of the weekend is done. And we're about to get some Cracker Barrel. Mostly because there's like two restaurants in this town. And we're hungry. So. It's Jameson's butt. That's my booty. So my wife goes, I'm going to beat Israel, which is my two-year-old. And I just texted her. I said, do it. I just smacked down on that little boy. Keep his mommy awake. Cut. Dude, what in the world? I could, I feel like John Mayer could pull that off. It's almost 2020. You can wear whatever you want. No one can say anything. First set was this morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, we hung out with some students, played some basketball, played some video games. They went off and did some other stuff. So before the evening session, 
the guys and I came out to the van and took a nap. <laughs> Gonna go in soon, eat some dinner, and then get ready and roll in for the next session. So I just realized that I haven't shown you guys our gear yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before our next session. I apologize uh, that it's a little loud right now. There's some students in here just hanging out, playing basketball, playing video games, all that stuff. So, Jameson, tell up, us homies? tell us what's going on here. All right, we have a very simple setup here. We have a Dunlop Volume X into a Kemper Stage. And that's what we're doing. What, Very pro simple. what profiles are you using today? All right, so I'm mostly using the Top Cab Royal. Um, that's pretty much it. I think I got Silver Jubilee on one of them. Nice. And the guitar? Guitar is a PS Custom 24. A PS? A PS. <laughs> it's a PRS Custom 24. In the With Tampa Green. What pickups? Red Knuckle Stormy Mondays. Very nice. All right, so here is my rig this weekend. It looks super sophisticated, but it's actually not. I'm running two different pedal boards because I'm playing both electric and acoustic. So here's my acoustic board. It's just a Boss TU3 tuner into the SP compressor into a Boss RV6 reverb. So I don't have an acoustic preamp, so pretty much the compressor just serves as a preamp for me to boost the signal a little bit. And then my electric board here, Nothing too out of the ordinary. I did add uh, the Boss Super Phaser PH2. If you have any questions about the signal chain, uh, just go ahead and post a comment and I'll, re uh, I'll respond to that as soon as I can. And then for uh, an amp per usual for me anymore, I'm using the Kemper. And this weekend I'm using the um, Tone Junkie TV Ace 30 profile. It's a great AC 30. Uh, profile love it and then for guitars I've got my Martin that looks like a Gibson that plays and sounds like a Martin so it's the best of both worlds it is the Martin CEO 4 it's a 2002 model with the sloped shoulder and the tobacco sunburst my number one sir uh, JM classic pro with their S90 pickups. So it's my newest guitar and then my oldest guitar, which is my PRS SE Custom 22 with Sir Thornbuckers. You wanna walk us through what's happening with the drums here? Sure, man. Well, so we're using like uh, half of our normal church setup. Basically, just using like our cymbals and our uh, Thomas snare drum, our back snare drum. Yeah. Uh, but also uh, Brett. And the church here uh, for their students has one of the Questlove kits. Uh, yeah, I've seen it like guitar singing and stuff before, so that was interesting. Definitely had to kind of like spend some time tuning on them, but yeah, it was really cool. And then we just have a normal, uh, you know, in ear setup with uh, able to it. And the kick trigger, so we mic and trigger, and uh, yeah, it sounds great. Guys, it's not about what we do that saves us. It's all about what Christ did on the cross. We cannot deem ourselves righteous. We cannot deem ourselves, we cannot pay the ransom with whatever we do. It is only through the blood of Jesus Christ that you and I are saved. Yeah. 
just finished our final session. We're gonna get loaded up and hit the road because it's a five and a half hour drive and it's already almost eight o'clock and we gotta be at church early tomorrow. So looking forward to it. Gonna get the stuff broken down, get on the road. That's a wrap. It's time to go home. Time to go home. Time to go home, but I don't know where Andrew's at. <laughs> oh, there he is. He went to go get more chicken sandwiches. It's Andrew. The, yeah, the vegan went to go get more chicken sandwiches. I don't know. Oh. All right. Oh. I don't know what's happening. Is Andrew, are you driving? I'm driving. Here we go. It is 2.22 a.m., which means I have to be up in about four hours, get to church in the morning, and do it all over again. So I'm gonna get some rest. I'll catch up with you guys next time.